I cannot wait to show you guys what I found at Petal and Pup. I am partnering up with them for this video to give you guys a special discount code. You can use code AMANDA20 for 20% off anything on the site, including the pieces I am sharing with you guys today. I just love, love their pieces. They're so unique compared to other boutiques and girly and just right up my alley. So first is this really pretty dress. It has a gingham print in a really neutral shade. The smocking around the top is very comfortable. I didn't even have to untie it to get it up and over my head. So it's very stretchy. I am wearing my normal size six. I would say it runs true to size. If you're in between, you'd be okay sizing down just because it is kind of a forgiving fit. I am 5'5 five five for height reference. Paired it with my knee high boots. I did size up a half size in these. So I really love the sleeves. Um, you can pull them up a little bit to give it more of this drapey look or you can just keep them all the way down if you prefer. Both are super cute, but I think my favorite is this draping. It's just so pretty. It does have a very slight opening in the back and a tie around the neck, but it's not too wide open, just FYI. But I will absolutely be wearing this on Thanksgiving. As soon as I pulled it out of the packaging, I was like, oh, this is my Thanksgiving dress for sure because it's going to be so comfortable. But I know I'm going to wear it a ton before then as well. So definitely one of my favorites so far. I mean, this is the first piece, but I was super excited to try it on and show you guys first. Next is actually my first ever tie-dye set. A couple months ago, I was like, I don't know how I feel about the tie-dye thing, but when I saw these colors, I was like, okay, I can definitely get behind that. Tim actually just came in to get something and he was like, oh, that's cute. You look like a little sherbert and i was like exactly i love these colors so i'm excited about my first little tie-dye set i did size up to a medium definitely glad i did just to have a little extra length it is cropped and kind of flowy cropped and flowy fit um you don't really need to like tuck it or anything unless you want to just like a comfy flowy little set to wear around the house I definitely think I'm going to pack this for a little getaway because it would just be cute to wear when we're hanging out. Next is this, I would call this like an elevated basic. I love when I can find these like super comfortable basic tops that have extra details like the ruffle peplum and the belled sleeves. I also really love this kind of pastel sagey green color. I am wearing a small medium. It runs, I would say, a little big. Um, but I don't mind like the flowy fit. I just love these like frilly tops with jeans throughout the fall season. You can pair it with booties. Um, I think I could even like style this for work as well. So I will style it a couple different ways. You could also layer it over like a tighter fitting skirt if you want. So here I tucked in the top and paired it with a more figure flattering skirt just to balance out the volume in the top. I love how it's just kind of like draping over to add some balance and then I paired it with a white booty so this would be a cute like fall date night outfit and I love these colors paired together with the green and then the tan skirt. Next is this black floral dress and I definitely had like a fall wedding in mind for this piece and it comes with a black slip underneath it's separate which I love you guys know how I feel about when slips are like attached to the dress. Um, but it's just very comfortable. It's like a dark, neutral floral print. There's smocking right here, but again, it's not tight at all. And I like how it adds in a little bit of like billowed fold over around the top. I paired it with a pump just for a casual like wedding wear, but I also think it'd be super cute dressed down as well. So here it is dressed more casually. I paired it with a neutral light booty. I like how that color kind of pulls in the floral pattern. And then I paired it with a cute fall hat. I mean, I feel like this is such a chic little fall outfit, but it's still very comfortable. And then you can even take this into winter. I wore a dress kind of similar to this in New York in February. And what I did was I wore like leggings underneath and then over the knee black boots. And you could even wear like a turtleneck underneath as well because this chiffon material is not going to keep you warm. But adding those layers makes it a really chic 
winter outfit as well. So definitely lots of use out of this. Next is this neutral sweater and I love where it hits across the front, but even better, it drops down in the back, which I feel like is always the most flattering shape. When they go straight across, sometimes that can widen your hips, but I always find that hemlines that drop down are just so much more flattering. So love that. And it also has a slit in the back as well, just to give it a little extra detail. I love this color. It's like a creamy neutral color, a little bit on the lighter side. Um, does have a turtleneck, but it's not too tight. Just FYI, like you can really have it float around your neck or you could even like bunch it up and make it look a little more casual if you want. It's a little bit on the flowier side through the arms and the body, but it's not too boxy. Like when you have your arms out, it looks boxy, but when they're down, it's still very flattering. I also love that it has vertical lines. I feel like that helps elongate your torso. I have a short torso, so I feel like overall it's really balancing out my body shape for me. I paired it with white jeans with a little bit of a fray detail. I am wearing a 26, would definitely prefer a 27 in these, but they are a great white jean. Very flattering through the leg, not too see-through or anything like that. And then I added a snake print booty just to add in a little bit of texture and print to the look. I honestly don't think there's a more perfect like color combination of a sweater out there for me. This is just so beautiful. Love these colors paired together. They're like just a soft, neutral pinks has like a fuzzy texture to it, a little bit more of an oversized fit. I like that the arms are a little bit drapier. You could do a front tech if you want to pull in like your shape a little bit more. Kept on the same white jeans and then paired it with a lighter booty just because I love an overall light and airy look. Just because it's fall does not mean you have to give up on wearing like light and airy colors. I actually am a huge fan of wearing like white jeans even in the fall time. This blush cardigan is one of my favorite pieces. I feel like it's so unique, but also so me. It just looks so much more elegant than a typical card cardigan. I love this blush color. It's like a stretchy but structured fabric. Comes with a belt that I tied in the back. Love this asymmetrical hemline. Paired it here with some high rise jeans and a white booty but I could definitely see this being paired so many ways. I think this would also be like a chic piece to wear to work as well. I just love this color. I am wearing a size eight, so I'm glad that I sized up. I feel like it still fits really well, but I have a little bit of extra like wiggle room in the shoulders. Just is such a beautiful piece. I love the draping across the front. I mean, it's a nice like structured fabric, so it's not, you're not going to have to like fiddle with it all night. And then underneath, I just have on a bodysuit. All right, I switched out my top for this like rose pink sweater. And I love the length of this. So it's great to wear with leggings in the fall and winter. It's definitely a thicker sweater. So it's going to keep you really warm. Like the slit in the side just to break it up. I feel like that keeps it more figure flattering. And then I love this color. It's a really pretty like rose pink. Um, the turtleneck is not too tight. It is definitely like a thicker turtleneck if you need that extra warmth. And I love the overall like cozy fit of it. Just paired it again with the same jeans and the white booties. But I could also see this looking really cute with leggings. So I will actually switch out my pants and style it a different way. So instead of a legging, I opted for a jegging, like a darker jegging. So you could totally see how it would look with a tighter fitting legging underneath and I love it paired with this lighter tan knee high boot. So I feel like this is a very versatile piece just based on the length there because you could totally pair it with leggings, jeans, could even do like a front tuck if you wanted to. So this cardigan is very similar to the blush one but it has more length involved. I feel like it almost gives you more of a jacket layered vibe. Also comes with a belt, and this one has pockets. I'm not sure if the last one had pockets. I don't think it did. Um, but I feel like this is such a chic piece. I paired it with booties, the same jeggings as last outfit, and then kept on that bodysuit. Um, it has more of like a earthy undertone to this neutral. I think this is such a classic chic little piece for fall. 
it's the same exact material as the blush one so it's structured but very stretchy I feel like this is definitely a vibe and I'm all about it all right next is this flirty little floral top the reason I wanted to grab this one because it reminded me a lot of a floral top I shared earlier in the year I think back in February in my last petal and pep try on haul it was a similar print and it sold out so quickly so I wanted to grab this one it's like a purple floral print which I don't have a ton of in my wardrobe and it's just very flowy I love it kind of balanced out with a tighter fitting jean this is the same jegging and then I just paired it with a booty very flirty I feel like you could pair this with a heel for like a little date night that type of thing Next is this adorable baby pink baby doll top. I love the volume to it. Um, I feel like it's just like a little cupcake top. It's too cute. I balanced out the volume with a tighter fitting jean just to keep my shape. And the fabric of this is like a cotton kind of textured gauzy type fabric. Not sheer or anything. Love the little bubbled sleeve. And I just love the volume to it. It's just one of those like precious tops. I paired it with a heeled sandal just because you could wear this now. Um, I think this is definitely right up my alley. I think I'm wearing a size small. I don't remember all my exact sizing details so I will put all of that down in the description box below. Sometimes I do size up and pedal and pup so I'll put all the deets there that you need to know. All right next is this beautiful dress. The print is right up my alley. It's this like white and pink floral, kind of like a vintage floral. Love the ruffles along the hemline and at the sleeves. I am wearing a size 8. I was really torn on what size to go with because the measurements online were exact for the size 6. But since the band wasn't stretchy, I was concerned it would be a little big when I would sit. However, I ended up getting the 8 and it's a little too big. I would rather it be big though than too small because I could always take it in just a tad. I mean, I feel like it still works, but I feel like it could be a little bit more cinched at my waist. So I probably will just take this one in. It has a very appropriate length that hits right at my knee. I am 5'5 for height reference. And I think this is just such a sweet little dress. I just paired it with a nude pump. I am 5'5 five five for height reference, but if you have like any sort of little shower or something like that, if you are going to those these days, I think this would be a sweet dress for that. Those are all the pieces I have to share with you today from Petal and Pup. I had so much fun collaborating with them for this video. Don't forget, I do have a 20% off code. You can use code AMANDA20 for 20% off your purchase. If you do pick anything up, definitely share that with me down in the comments below. And of course, tag me on Instagram if you are inspired to recreate any of these looks. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later this week with a new video. Bye!